this is called screen painting. This is a screen canvas. That's right. A screen as in a screen door or a screen window. And I was inspired because of Rebecca Flotz. I found her through, in, um, not Instagram, through Pinterest. Pinterest. <laughs> that she paints on screens. And for the life of me, I could not figure out how to do this. And I epically failed. So I thought, okay, this is a screen. I need to sketch it out. Because there's not exactly somewhere you can sketch out on this screen. You got one shot. So I lightly went in with white paint. And... I sketched out my doodle that I made. You see the snowman in the tree and oh my gosh, this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. So I made the mistake of coating on paint super thick and then I thought, oh, that's not working. So I'll grab some oil paint. Oh my gosh. So I added oil paint and everything. No, 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 no. This is just an epic fail. Epic fail. You don't do these things. <laughs> you think I'll keep painting thicker and thicker. And then I added like a texture medium from Deco Art to mix with my paints to add texture. You know, just that kind of like see-through, dries clear, kind of you add it to your paint. Oh my gosh. And then I didn't know that you need to pick it up. It needs to be elevated in some way so it doesn't bleed onto your poster board onto the other side or maybe you should have like a piece of cardboard or better yet an easel I didn't know these things screen painting takes a lot of time and a lot of layers so this is my first attempt and it was an epic 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 fail so I went back to the drawing board and I did more research see every artist has to learn here I am back again with another screen canvas back with new research okay I think I figured it out. Kind of, sort of. I'm still learning, but I wanted to figure it out. The biggest fail that I did was I needed paint mud. Now, I don't have like mud. I guess I don't really know what kind of mud they're specifically referred to, but I went ahead and I grabbed modeling paste instead. If you know what modeling paste is, it adds texture to your canvas to give you like, you know, if you make flowers or waves or sand as an as like a painter, it adds texture and you can paint on top of it or you can add on to it. So I went back to sketching with a white paint and I sketched out my image, which is going to be a cardinal because this was going to be a gift to someone close to me. And here it is, here's modeling paste. And it's by Master's Touch. Now I later on researched and I went ahead and I grabbed Liquitex flexible modeling paste because the thing with modeling paste is you have to put it on in thin layers and let it dry completely, which I did do in this actual video on this cardinal. I did go ahead and I let the modeling paste be applied with my paint and I let it dry. Screen painting may take you the entire day, but if you want to do this as a gift or a Christmas gift or whatever you would like, this is, you need to understand this is going to take you the whole day because you need to let it go ahead and dry. And I did grab a palette knife, just a teeny tiny knife because I wanted to be able to like control it a little bit more. And you see that I applied my paint onto the modeling paste, but I let it dry completely and then came back because on the back of the modeling paste, it said that I was allowed to go ahead and add paint. So I let it dry, then I come back and then I went, I, but the thing that I messed up on was you need to add modeling paste on top of modeling paste to not let it crack. And this is, once again, regular modeling paste. It's probably better since it is not like a panel or canvas panel or wooden panel board that you probably, canvas as well. You probably need the flexible modeling paste to go onto a screen. That's the biggest mistake I made with this one was I should have applied at least two or three layers of flexible modeling paste onto my twigs and my cardinal. But at least I let it dry and then came back with different layers. And I did mix a little bit more modeling paste, but um, be very careful when you're doing this not to 
apply thick layers of modeling paste onto your canvas because it might crack over time. But yeah, this tent was much better. I added modeling paste first, and then I added this wonderful paint, which is the Master's Touch acrylic paint. I did use acrylic modeling paste. I feel like I'm saying that word a lot, but you guys have to understand this is the key to screen painting. So if you're interested, here are a couple things. Apply modeling paste or paint mud first. I'm, I'm wondering if it's like the mud that you put on the walls for painting. I'm not sure. And then make sure you do it in layers. Don't just glob it on. Layers is the key thing when screen painting. And you have to carve out a whole day for this to be done. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful way to paint. And I was just so inspired and I wanted to tell you guys my discovery because I went through a lot of pain and frustration to get to the point where I am to figure out how to paint on a screen because I wanted to do something different for Christmas gifts this year as opposed to just painting on a canvas. And I actually looked at the burlap canvases and then I looked at the screens and I was like, well, you know, they do this at painting with a twist. I guess I can give it a try by myself. But I did a lot of research and I feel a lot more comfortable where I am with screen painting now and I'm more prepared. Just there's not a lot of information or videos or YouTube videos on how to screen paint. There's a lot of screen printing videos, but there's no screen painting videos. So now you all know how to properly screen paint, screen canvas paint. <laughs> it's fun. It's different. Give it a try this Christmas or future birthday or just for fun. It's really fun. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed my epic fail and I will see you all later. Bye!